I heard you say after the game that you were a little stubborn coaching like your offense. Can you get into that? Like yeah. what what didn't you change or what did you change? Well, they were playing. They We knew they were going to play a zone. They had a lot of time to prepare. We, we didn't work on it a lot, but I wanted to run, put in a special set and then uh, a little bit of a kind of our man-to-man offense against it's a matchup. Uh, zone that they run, and and my guys were fighting me on it. They weren't really running it, and I was being stubborn, yelling at them to run it, and they were kind of standing and watching. And and uh, so finally, I gave in and just said I'd right, run our normal zone offense uh, against it, which we're pretty good in. And uh, that's when we really kind of got it rolling. We put Daryl to high post. He hit a shot there, made some good decisions. So um, time, and 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 when you coach a long time, you have different against the matchup, but um, we weren't really prepared to do that, and uh, so we made that quick change, and the guys did a great job with it, so. Coach, lucky, I... Lucky our defense... Go ahead. No, no, no. Go on, finish your thought. Luckily, your defense... Well, yeah, lucky our defense was doing great, because, you know, we could have been down seven or eight at that point, but instead we were tied or up two, and then, you know, made that little run right before half. Yeah, and then the second half, you guys start to pull away, and, you know, I'm an old-school guy. I grew up watching Morgan Wooten coach at DeMatha. Jason played for Morgan at DeMatha, and... Basketball's changed so much, and you get this big lead, and yet you guys come down, and it's just the way basketball's played these days. You guys still going down there launching threes, shooting quick early in the shot yeah. clock. And, and for an old-school guy like yeah. me, it, I kind of cringe a little bit, but you guys seem to handle it. How, yeah. do you, how do you handle that as a coach? Like, how do you know when to keep going well, and when to slow it down? It's so difficult today. Yeah, no, we, we want to play fast. We're, we're trying to win by 30. Yeah, um, yeah. You know, we don't want to hold on to anything, and so – we were getting open looks in transition. As long as we were taking good shots, I'm okay with it. Yeah. Um, we, if we forced a play, I thought we forced a couple plays. I let my guys know in a quiet way um, <laughs> that we were forcing a couple plays. But I thought I really slowed us down the last eight minutes. One out of respect for Mike Bray. Yeah. Um, uh, you know, we're good friends, and I like him a lot. He's, you know, one of the good, really good guys in our business. And I just wanted to work on our half-court offense a little bit. So we really slowed it down uh, the last eight minutes. I, I thought I put in subs early and walk-ons early. And, yeah. and uh, But uh, when we're up we're up 15 with 15 to go, we're trying to win by 30. We're not trying to hold on. So we're going to keep running. We're going to be who we are. We're a faster team. We're a running team. And uh, my whole deal is that we take good shots. And we kept getting good shots. We kept getting wide-open looks uh, in transition. And so right. you, you got to take advantage of it. And I think Mike, too, his team, they were down so much. They were just shooting early, just trying to get on a run, and they just were missing. Yeah, and then Gibbs, Gibbs goes 0 for 11. I mean, you don't usually see, uh, yeah. especially an older kid like him, he's been in the program forever, go 0 for 11. Well, like I said, um, we're pretty good defensively. Our, our defense matched up well against their system. Mm-hmm. Um, we, we guard the ball pretty well. He missed a few shots that he normally makes. Um, yeah. They are. Um, they need to score in transition. I thought our transition defense was terrific. We worked so hard on transition defense from day one of practice, and um, we worked on it hard the day before the game. We're going to work on it hard, you know, tomorrow preparing for Illinois too. But it's a big part of what we do defensively. And you know, they they didn't get a lot of open looks in transition that they normally get, and that's credit to our guys really running back and communicating and finding shooters. Mark, I don't know how much you get in. You probably don't. I'm sure you tell your guys this. Don't get into the rankings. But you guys moved yeah. up to third. And I don't think Maryland – I could be wrong on this. I was told by Chris Naki, you guys have never been ranked number one ever. Um, you well, know, under Gary, under lefty. Yeah, I mean, even though Gary won a national championship, he was never ranked number one in the polls. Now, I know you don't get into it. I do believe at some point you're not that far away. You're going to be ranked number one in the country. Um, and you know how kids are these days with social media. I mean, do you – do you get concerned? Are you worried that they get caught up in that type of stuff? I don't think we're caught up right now. Mm-hmm. Um, now, if we get to number one, that means we've won a lot of games in a row, and and um, then it might be a different animal at the time. But um, now, right now, we're, we're and I, I, we are. I hate. I know people get tired of hearing it, but we are still a young team, and we played that way at the start, but. You know, we bring four freshmen off the bench. Last night we played Sorrell and Ricky a little bit too as sophomores. But, um, you know, we we still got so much to get better at and and 
you know, one starting games. You know, we're not we're just not comfortable starting games for some reason. We were against Marquette. Hopefully, we will be Saturday. But right, something we need to work on. Our half court offense has to get better. Our adjustments during game has to be quicker. Um, you know, there's so many things that I'm on them about uh, in a positive way that we can get better at. And I think our guys are really kind of enjoying everything. But man, I tell you, number number three, number seven, whatever we've been, never comes up. Um, what comes up is us just trying to get better every day, and it's a it's a long season. We got a heck of a schedule ahead of us, yep. and um, there's going to be ups and downs throughout it. Which it's how we handle the downs is going to be what's important, uh, and then we continue to get better. And I, I do think this team can get a lot better. We're not bi- we're not very good in the big lineup, meaning sticks at the four, and we're going to need to be better at that lineup. Mm-hmm. Um, better in the half court, better in the half court defense, better in transition defense. And so there's so much growth for us right now. And um, right now we're just in such a grind. We played three out of four, and then Notre Dame, and then Illinois, and then Penn State. <laughs> You're just kind of just going game by game, trying to get your guys prepared to play well in those games. Um, and then after we'll take a deep breath after Penn State and, you know, start working on some things that will help us, you know, after the new year. Coach. Hey, we'd like to come out to practice again, too. I mean, that, that was, was awesome. That was fun, man. Keep it going. We'll Good. get you on again here soon. Okay. All right. Sounds great. Thank All you, right, Coach. Take Appreciate care. it. Coach Mark Turgeon. Uh,